In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the most absolutely mathematically accurate square out of a piece of paper using only tools we see here. The most important is being a nice, trusty straight edge, because if you can't trust your straight edge, all is lost. But we trust this straight edge, so here we go. First thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a reference line that we're going to base everything else off of. And again, this has nothing to do with the edges or the corners on the piece of paper we're using. This could be a round piece of paper. It just doesn't matter. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our compass, set at an arbitrary distance, keep it relatively small. And what we're going to do is we're going to find a point on this reference line towards the edge. And the only stipulation about the point that we're going to use is that the marking edge of your compass can reach the edge of the line. So we'll find a point on the line and mark an arc to one side of the point, And we're going to mark another one on the opposite side of the point. And there you'll see we have an arc on either side of the reference point that we made. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the compass again to an arbitrary amount the only stipulation on this distance is that it can reach the page you don't want it off the page going vertically and what we're going to do is we're going to find the two arcs that we made we're going to find the point where the arc crosses our reference line and we're going to draw an arc and what we're going to do is we're going to find the other mark that crosses the reference line and we're going to draw another arc and they should cross nicely and the point where these arcs cross and the point where we made the point we made on this reference line create an absolutely perfect right angle so what we're going to do go ahead and draw that line from this reference point in between the two marks and we find the point where these two arcs cross and we connect those. And now we have a perfect right angle and two straight edges. And the rest is easy. We just figure out the sides that we want on our square. I'm gonna say five inches. So I will use my ruler, put uh, one end at the one and use the other end at the six and that will give me five inches. Now this does not need to be exactly five because this is the only reference that we're going to use for the distance. So even if this is not exactly five it doesn't really matter because all the sides will be the exact same length which is really the important part. So now we take our distance marker we use this reference point that we've been using and we mark the distance on that line. And we go ahead and use that same point and mark the distance on this line. And now it's important to, to remember on this particular line that where we have the two arcs is merely the reference for making a 90 degree. Our distance is the single arc. And so we take that single arc as our distance marker and we mark an arc out this way we find this distance marker and we make a crossing arc and now what we have are the four points necessary to make an absolutely perfect square this point this point this point and this point point. 